Hey, what's up, fam? A bunch of new stuff now for Jump Force, and I, I decided to keep a little bit up from the last one on there just because obviously it was part of this new batch. We just got some of it a little bit sooner than there's like a day or two. What was it? When did they announce Yuki? I think it was, I think it was like four days ago. Either way, we got. I was gonna do a video just on one thing, but then we got another thing, and then we got another thing. So, oh, and another thing. So we got. Not only did we get gameplay on Kalua and. Kropika, Kropika, I don't know how to pronounce his name, from Hunter x Hunter, but we got Yusuke and uh, younger Togoro from Yu Yu Hakusho announced. We've got character creation announced, as you can see next to Luffy, is, uh, which is pretty much just gender-bent Luffy, probably with similar powers, but that's going to be pretty sick. And we've got Akira Toriyama drawing these uh, original characters just for the game uh, from left to right. Uh, the guy's name is Director Glover. I'm wondering if J-Force is going to be the bad guys. Like, they're like, yeah, we're going to pull in all these guys from this multiverse and put them all in the fight. I'm guessing that's the, the, going to be the kind of the thing. You got him, Navigator, this little, like, weird robot. Uh, this chick, Galena. She actually looks really cool. I think she's got the coolest design of the four of them. And then this guy, Kane, who looks... He kind of just looks like Baby Vegeta, but not... Or with... Uh, but he's bald. I don't know. But... There's a lot of good stuff. This game might end up being like the biggest fighting game. I, I legitimately think it might outdo Smash at this rate with the amount of characters. Because we're getting, so far, it looks like four to five characters from each verse. Uh, potentially, uh, potentially original characters for the video game from all of the major uh, major writers. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing all of the big ones at least. So, Toriyama, uh, Togashi... Mish uh, I almost said Mishima, no, Kishimoto, Kubo, Oda, all those guys, that's going to be pretty sick, and then every every series already, so if, we, if we're going to get like even 10, even 10 series, just off of the three to or four to five characters, that's 40, and then assuming that each of them even drops an oh, plus one character, that's going to be 50, and we all know there's going to be more, there's no way they're going to pass up stuff like Toriko, Beelzebub, Hitman Reborn, my Hero Academia, Black Clover, the list goes on. Even um, even Demon Slayer, that manga that's about to get an anime, has a really good chance of you know getting in. Especially with their their anniversary, I think they're gonna be pumping a lot of money towards this. It if it comes down to it, if it has if it has as many characters as I think it's gonna have, and it comes down to it between this and and Smash Bros. Sorry, Smash Bros. I'm gonna get Jump Force. It's gonna be. I'm really looking forward. It's gonna be so cool. It comes out in, I think, February. Right now, might change, depending on if they want to add more characters. This is one of those games where, like, DLC, when they're going to be like, hey, we're going to do a DLC pack for a couple, however much, like, $5, get, like, get, you know, char this pack of characters from these verses or whatever. That's, like, DLC that I, I actually think is fine with me. If I have to pay a couple dollars to get a character I really want, that's cool. As long as it, it looks good in the... And it's fun for the game. I don't really, I don't care that much. But tell me what you think about this. Who do you want to be added to the game? I already got, I already got the guy who's probably going to be in my main right now is Yugi. I'm going to main the hell out of Yugi. And the character customization, I think, has a lot of potential. Um, and especially the, the villains. The there are these video game exclusives. I'm, I'm hoping there's at least one character, one original from each of the writers in this game. That'll be really cool. Uh, uh, could you just see that as a a villain organization, each with a character dropped in from the, the minds of all these different like big manga creators from Shonen Jump? That's going to be awesome. And just imagine if they get if the game gets big enough that they could start buying characters from other magazines. Can you imagine like Natsu, Meliodas, uh, Aladdin... Uh, it, it's just anybody <laughs> guts that'd be crazy guts would be he's probably would be one of the first picks that'd be a super super interesting to see, see him in the game and all these villains are like oh we got this we're amazing and then griffith just walks out and there's like oh shit <laughs> all right things are about to get serious so yeah so tell me what you think in the comments uh of uh who what you think of this roster so far if what you think is cool maybe if you think something is dumb uh who do you want to be in the game who you're really looking forward to maining uh, maybe check out my videos. I do mostly manga stuff, fairy tale, Eden Zero, Black Clover, and soon to be ready when the anime comes out in a couple weeks as the main stuff. But I obviously do reviews on uh, other mangas as well. And 
adding in some anime soon i'm going to do some uh, i'm also going to start bringing in anime movies uh, i do live streams so catch me on live streams if uh, if you're interested if you have any questions um and you know yeah subscribe if you if you haven't and you're interested in my channel and if you already subscribed thank you very much i really appreciate it but otherwise thank you very much for listening bye